first set. Novak Djokovic to serve. Play. Fifteen love. This is a very not nervous start. I know it's only two points in that. for Djokovic, but two really good serves, mm -hmm. and then probably the weakest shot that Djokovic owns is an overhead, which sounds ridiculous, but he hit that one just right. He seemed very comfortable consistently serving in like the low 120s. 40 level. And there was another. 124, 123, 122, 40 love. And hitting spots, mm -hmm. hitting very good More spots important. with those serves. Yes. But you know what the most impressive thing for me with Djokovic is I've always felt as though his serve was pretty medium, not okay. great. I went down when he played Jensen Brooksby where the photographer sit right on the court. Yeah. And I have a whole new respect for his serve. Really? Yes, it had it felt pretty, bigger down there? Had pretty nice pop and he does really hit the spots. I know that there was a period in his career where he kind of got a little yippy and was having some Alexander double fault issues. To serve. They seem to be gone. So comfortable there now. He's so 15 long love. and moves very well, and it's hard to hit through. Yeah. So it does take a little bit of time before you can create an opening. Well, I guess the good news, if you're looking for a great match, is that Zverev has also come out not very nervous. He's come out serving well, hitting his forehand, he's not this deselling, which is what he does when he's a little tight. Oh! Fifteen. Zverev has won three of them, including, again, the Olympics about six weeks ago. It's interesting, Zverev beat him early on when he would have been very young. And Djokovic sort of turned the tables for a few until that Olympics. Ah! 132, that's a 40, 15. A casual looking 132. No, no, he's got closer to 140 in the bag if he needs to really reach back. Ah! Game is better. One game over. First set.
when they play with the Olympics in Tokyo, 15 Zarin level. came into the net more than Djokovic, and he came in better than Djokovic. Hmm. Djokovic has had a 70% success rate coming into this semi. At the Olympics, Zarin was 72% effective at the net, Novak only 33%. Djokovic had won the first set 6-1 and then lost the next two to Zverev 3-1. and one. What was interesting to me was that 6-1 set came after a 6-2-6 love beating of Nishikori uh, yeah. for Djokovic. So he wins the set again and you're thinking no one's even close to the same level as Djokovic. And it was somewhat disconcerting that Zverev was able to turn it around as drastically as he did. Oh. And he never looked panicked. It was very, very hot. And people were complaining and busting rackets. And this guy, he was just dug in right from the start. Game Djokovic. Three clean holds to start this semifinal match, the U.S. Open. Fifteen love. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, up at the top. This is as packed a house as I've seen. Right up to the rafters of Ash Stadium. Well, there's a possibility for great, love. great stories, isn't there, from, from this U.S. Open. You have the two teenagers in the women's final possibility of Djokovic going for history. 40 love. Neither player can win a second serve point. The thing is, they've only missed, Djokovic has missed one serve. Zverev has missed two. Mm. Game Zverev. Second is for Zverev, that one, 130. Two games all, first set. More than 20% of the fans who come to the U.S. Open every year are foreigners. And obviously a lot of people haven't been able to travel. And this place is packed. More seats available for more people. Love 15.
two Love really setting. well played points in a row from Zverev off of very good first serves. Zverev making the return, staying in the point, defending, and then eventually getting to even in the point. And he's crushing his forehand right now, Zverev. Fifteen, thirteen. Djokovic has already been up to the net six times. Yeah. He's hitting one again. Is that a statement of? I'm not sure I can beat you from the baseline, so I'm going to mix in. He's mixed in a serve and volley in every game so far. Respect. Forty, thirty. Take your seats quickly, please. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Out. Fifteen, love. Second service. You have to know, and I, it looked as though Djokovic Fair probably did that. know. He might have. He missed the return and miss hit it. But if Zverev gets tight on his second serve, which after the let that you just saw, he was tight. He normally goes ahead and busts it down the tee. And he just did 117 mile an hour second serve. When he's nervous, he can't kick it. Mm. So he'll go for He'll, he'll go, go flat. for slice, harder slice. Uh. 40 love. Thing comes and goes with him a little bit. He'll have it going long, and then all of a sudden something enters his mind. And so it's not technical, it's emotional. Yes, for sure. Game finish for Alexander Zvera. Three games of first set. So much rain yesterday that a lot of the outer courts had no play. So junior tennis, wheelchair tennis, doubles, that was all going on on these grounds today. Fifteen level. Djokovic is a net rusher, but yep. he has been today so far. Oh. 
30 love. The problem for Djokovic against Zverev is Zverev can play very far behind the baseline and cover a ton of ground and still hit the ball big enough from back there that it can cause some problems for Novak. It's not so easy for Novak to hit through Djokovic, uh, through Zverev. Oh. So in very different ways, they're both capable of shrinking the court. Novak by staying tight to the base on Zvera, by staying back, getting everything back and making you feel like you got to hit something even better than you're hitting. Sort of went the conventional route over the net and that allowed the only chance here was if you could have flicked it down low right around the net post. A couple of shots from both players. First break point. Thank you. Djokovic yes. fans, there's a couple of stats that sort of stick out that would make you nervous. Number one, he's serving at 90% for a serve percentage, and he's hitting them big. And he's still faced a break point, and there's still a little more pressure on his serve. Well, he's only, he hasn't won a second serve point. He's losing, he's winning so most of his first serve points. He's at 80%, don't get me wrong. But his opponent's 100% when yeah. he's getting the first serve in. And it's just the way the baseline points are being played, you can see that they're not easy for Djokovic to figure out how to finish a point. That was a great drop shot, but I'm still impressed with how quick Zverev is for 6-6. Six, six. Djokovic leads by four games to three. Facet. So 
everything with new balls and just 15 his biggest lovely. serve of the night. Both players serving remarkably well. Oh. Djokovic sort of next level. He's missed two first serves. <laughs> That's going to change. Can't keep that up. Let second service. All right, well, this is the second time he's had a nervous second serve. Fair. Last time he banged the next one after the let. 117 down the tee. I'd still be looking tee here if I'm Djokovic. Ah. Kick. Ah. I think it surprised me that. It did. He 30 turned level. himself into a pretzel trying to hit that return. Biggest strength, but there's nothing wrong. Technically, it's pretty good. That was a nice little stab, and the ball almost got to a difficult spot for Djokovic. Difficult combinations, there of, of being able to defend. 40, 15. But he can defend with power, mm. even from very far back. Djokovic, 9 of 10 when he's gotten to the net. That one he may have been able to come in on in the shot before he missed the forehand. Four games all, first set. And how well do you have to strike the ball to get Zverev on the defense? I mean, very. He's, look, there is no real weakness in Zverev's game. It's just if you can make him nervous, he can have some bad Bad serving and bad forehand moments. And that's your your job is to maybe apply that scoreboard pressure and hope that it gets to him. Right now it feels ah. as though Djokovic is hanging on slightly. Love 15. But he has to be deep down. There's concern right now in his head. I'm, he's saying to himself, I'm playing well. I'm serving 92% for serves, and I'm still having some pressure on yeah. my serve. Yeah, this team told me to get my first serves. In. Yeah. I'm doing it. <laughs> this guy's spitting them back. He's spitting them back and often not even behind in the point. He's sort of fifty length oh. on the return that he can just comfortably rally. That one was a little shorter, and Djokovic took advantage. Oh. 
15, 13. Djokovic has made nine unforced errors. He's there only four. So they're forced, they're kind of. <laughs> they're unforced by sight, but they're not. Yeah. And he's down a couple of break points and he's missed a couple of first serves in this game. And that's how he's found himself in 1540. Oh! Zwei der Play zwei Five Games to Four. First set. Fifteen love. Thirty love. Good sign for him that serving on a set would be a game possibly you could start feeling some nerves. And he's started it with two bomb serves. Another 132 gets him to set points. Forty love. At some point, if you're Djokovic, you have to sort of lean a little bit to the tee. He can hit the wide serve, but he'll miss that more often than he does the tee serve. First. 40, 15. Serve, which Djokovic got back in play. And again, he might serve wide and hit an ace, Varev, but he'd be happier and more consistent going down the tee here. So that's yeah, just a little lean to the tee. Oh, big shake. Still in the air as the set is over. Game and first set is Varev. By six games to four. This is going to be a very interesting night. Second set, Djokovic to serve.
La 15. Zverev said coming into this match that against Novak, you have to be perfect. Most of the time, you can't be perfect. That's why most of the time, people lose to him. To win the match yourself, you have to be the one that's dominating the points. So far, so good for him. Was a good 15, good he said, after he beat Berrettini, he said it was a good fight, a battle. And he said, I can go the distance. Actually, I like to go the distance. <laughs> Joker said, five sets, five hours, whatever it takes, I'm here. is Berrettini does have a slight weakness on the back of so And Djokovic can find a way to hone in on that and break it down. There isn't really a weakness for Zverev, so it, it becomes... The fact that Djokovic is serving and volleying as much as he is is telling you that he doesn't really have the answers once there's a rally going. Side that can get shaky just a 14, little bit on the 13. forehand. That was the first one he's decelerated slightly after a tremendous return. So close. <laughs> oh. Advantage. Now, a Djokovic. couple of second serve points won by Djokovic in this game. Still two for nine, but two for four. He's missing first serves right now. Six foot six, way behind the baseline. Didn't get a great read on the drop shot. Didn't matter. Covered it easily. He moves like a guy who's what? What height? Six two. No. And don't forget racket skills too. Yes. Advantage, Tukovic. 
Zverev was asked how much it helped him when he beat Djokovic at the Olympics. And he said, I feel like I was the first player to beat him in a very big match this year. That does give you something. Oh. First game, second set. Felt like a pretty important hold because he missed first serves in that game. And got a couple of missed returns that you wouldn't expect from Zverev. Oh. Pitch not able to make Take your sis quickly, please. Easy Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Returners of all time, he's not making returns off first serve, as that stat showed you. And again, T is the favorite serve. Oh! I feel like you almost have to force him to serve wide. He'll give you more second serves if you do. Love 15. So is Rod Laver cheering for Djokovic or hoping <laughs> to keep the record? I think he's a gentleman. I think he's, he would be great. He would be the guy to hand him the trophy oh. if he were to win this thing on Sunday. But we know what a huge Federer fan Rod Laver is. Still, he admires all three of these guys who have played so well. I would like to when Pete Sampras passed him and his buddy Roy Emerson. 15 old. And he got to 14 majors. And that seemed like Mount Everest. Within a decade, Federer was going after that. And then Nadal and now Djokovic. Yeah, that was interesting. Sanford, I'm sure, when he quit, it was... Yeah. Mike I've, got, I've got a <laughs> generation or so before I have to worry about oh! that. Exactly. <laughs> he thought he'd have a lot of gray hair when yeah. he was passing the baton. Breaking down here in the last few minutes. He's had three shanks, and the point before this last, he hit a chip forehand for no reason. As soon as he hit the return and he saw how he was a little late on the return, but it went into a difficult spot as soon as he saw that came flying into the net. And Djokovic is usually a guy that just can grind you to pulp from the baseline, but he doesn't feel as though he can do that with Zverev, so he's mixing in these net rushes. He's missed two sitter forehands in the last two games. 13-14. Saw a quick peek at Jimmy Butler, a great NBA player that's been in Sasha Zverev's player box for the last couple matches. Oh. Thank you. Oh! 
shot of it. The two shots of his at the shake. The demon show just out of nowhere. For, for his Vera. There was no rhyme or reason to it, really, but those are the two shots love. that... Second set. The when tells. he's nervous, yeah, when he's nervous, they break down. Don't want to give this guy hope. He'll usually take advantage. Fifteen love. Six unforced errors for Svervin in the first set in these two games. Seven wow. already. Starting to Love. pump up the power a little more on the forehand. Showed you some touch again. Square up there easily. But couldn't get enough on that lot to get it over Djokovic. takes the first three games of set two. Fifteen level. Love. That ace, I understand, because you got to cover the tee against him, and he's not going to make that one quite as often. That was number six. Forty fifteen. Yeah. Out. 
Kane Zverev. Kane is stored on serve for Zverev. Djokovic leads by three games to one. Second set. Djokovic serving at 3 1. Love. I feel as though just as quickly as Zverev can sort of get a little uptight, get nervous, lose the forehand, he can find it again. Mm. It's going to have some ebbs and flows throughout. But just the fact that he's had this little bit of a blip. Yeah, after such a convincing opening set. Yeah, it helps Djokovic. Fifteen. So almost, it seems so silly because I'm talking about the greatest player of all time, but it it almost feels like it's more up to Zverev. Yeah. If he plays at his highest level right now, his highest level might be higher than Djokovic's. That's what Agassi used to say about playing against Pete. He said, "I know that my best against his best." Isn't good enough. He'll yeah. win. This hip forehand stays up. And well shot. Knocked down. Tough to reproduce that combination of shank, flutter, <laughs> inside out angle here. Yeah. 15 bringing seconds. Djokovic forward, and now you've got some room to get it around him and buy him. How quickly Djokovic drops his racket to protect his hands. Yeah, that is good. They're not as big, they're not as heavy. He's just moving them around the box. Ah. 40, 30. Fifteen love. Fair to love. has been at his side longer than anybody. Oh. His one spell, a little over a year, he was fired. The whole team was. 
that they've reassembled. Third, say 15. Third double fault from Zvera. It's a little look up at his player box with a little look of terror. <laughs> terror. <laughs> that second serve of his yeah. can be terrifying. Out. 40, 15. Best description I ever heard of somebody getting getting tight for Djokovic no good reason. leads by four games to two. Here, Martina Navratilova is way the hell up on Steffi Graf in a final, one of the finals. And she ended up losing it. And you could see just how nervous she got. And in the end, remember the late, great Ted Tinley, the yes. dress designer? Yes. He described it by saying that Martina saw vultures that no one else could see. <laughs> that is a great way to describe it. And those vultures occasionally circle Svera. <laughs> <laughs> Land on the shoulder. Occasionally. <laughs> he often can brush him away yes. in the same match, so exactly. I, I expect him to have another, another moment where he can apply some real pressure to Djokovic. Fifteen, love. Let us for service. Which has hit his leg a couple of times now. I don't think it's that he's exhausted. I think he's just not getting that outside leg on the forehand behind the ball the way he'd like. Slightly 40, 15. Two yeah. the backhand from Djokovic, which Hit ended the up. the line anyway, yeah. yeah. Totally opposite of the first set where Djokovic was 0 for 5 on second serve. Oh. He's only serving at 52. 50% in this set, so he better be winning some second serve points. Oh. Just don't see that kind of a miss coming. 40 oh. Joke, but, you know? Not. I remember watching him play, and you could see a look in his eye when it was time to, I am not going to miss. Mm. He was able to sort of get into that space. I don't know if, he's, if he has that right now. Game. 
Djokovic. Djokovic now 5-2, second set. Alexander Zverev serves to stay in this second set. He won the first. Oh! Love, 15. Fourth double fault. Love third of this set. Again, it, you can say he's being brave. 127 mile an hour second serve, but that's sort of one of the tells. When he's nervous with his second serve, he goes ahead and cracks it, which I actually think I like. Why not? If you're going to double fault through with some. 15 13. <laughs> Seven days. For service. It's more debil debilitating, isn't it? If it looks as though you're, you can't swing your arm on the second serve and it gets nothing on it and you still double fault. He could ask for a look. Have a look yourselves. 15 14. Oh, missed. Two set points for Novak Djokovic. Leave the east of the match. 30 14. Two. One set all. Third set, Djokovic to serve. Sort of set three. Only the second set that Alexander Zverev has lost in this championship. He lost the first set to Jack Sock in the third round, and then Sock had to retire from the match a little later on with a leg injury. Medvedev, who's already in the final, he's dropped just one set as well. And it wasn't today. He took care of Felix Auger Aliassime, the young Canadian. Thirteen. 
Them to seeing both of these guys would prefer and love backhand to backhand patterns. They both have great backhands. They both can hit a down the line backhand on a dime. So it's surprising to see, see either of them sort of make that backhand error. It's been Zverev recently who's been making the error in those just backhand exchanges. earlier on the recognition 30, of a good shot 40. and then come flying in. Here's the Zverev example of the exact same thing. Big forehand. It wasn't an approach, but once he saw the damage it was doing, why not take time away? Sort of break point down, huh? Again, not as big on a pace scale, but he hit spots. That's 118 miles an hour, tough to read. Uh, he got so low, you can hear, hear his racket kick against the the ground. Advantage, Tukovic. That was kind of different. You don't normally see a player sort of stop and wait for the <laughs> ball and it got into an uncomfortable height, but it did a good job. Let Let's for service. service. First game, third set. This now becomes somewhat of an important game for Zverev. He's got to stop this momentum. Djokovic all tournament long has dropped the first set and sort of crushed in the next three sets. Didn't think that was going to happen today, the way that first set was played. But this game, for Zverev, he's got to stem that momentum that's rolling against him right now. I think it took Djokovic maybe a set to catch up to the heft and weight, the speed of Zverev's shots. Oh. Maybe, but I do think most of it is Zverev went down the level okay. from where he was.
15 all. And it's just possible as Varev came out and said, you know, I'm playing the greatest of all time. I'm, I've away. got to swing away. <laughs> it's my only chance. And then I won the first set. And, oh, no, I could be the greatest of all time. And if he got there, that's what may have made him tight. Oh. Got to get back to the just swing away sort of feeling. Second serve. 30 15. There's no technical reason he should ever miss one. It's easy power that yeah. he gets. Pretty, too. I'd like to have a few more of the forehand to forehand exchanges, Four to even though Djokovic's forehand has been spotty at times. I think he's just a little bit better at being able to change direction with it. And came in, did he grab his back as if his back's hurting after that shot? Hard to believe with all the stretching he does. Game is One game more, third set. Love of thing. One thing of yours, Varev, you've got to be cognizant of the fact that Djokovic may serve in volley. So if you're returning a first serve, there's a party that's thinking, I've got to keep this down low. That was a ah. That flies. Yeah, that was a great return. 15-0. Yeah, because he's pretty far back, isn't he? Yeah. He, he kind of likes prowling behind the baseline. It's not as easy for him to get to net. Ah! I was calling a doubles match today, Jimmy, with Mark Woodford. Great doubles play. 13-15. Mark worked with... Djokovic on his transition game, not just his volleys, his transition game for a time. You know, he's gotten specific doctors for different parts yeah, of his game. Has. That one went about eight weeks, which was about what Mark expected it would be. Did Mark say he perfected the transition game? Or? He wasn't taking credit, he just, but I was curious because I remember when he, when Novak had called upon him. Smart though, right? You could have someone work specifically on something they do well. How do you do it? What, is it an instinct? What is it? Is it technique? Ah! 
problem with the concept yes. is a lot of times when it's someone's strength, 40, 30. They it's a natural. They don't know how they did it. They just say, well, just do this. Yeah, exactly. Just do Here's it. What I it's, do. it's really easy. <laughs> well, what good does that do you? Exactly. It feels to me sometimes where the player was actually weak is where they've given it the most thought. How do I get this better? Interesting. Not always, but... He should hire me for a backhand. Shane Djokovic. <laughs> a fist pump from the world number one. I'm surprised it spent, was recorded. I spent a lot of time, I know it's true. I spent a lot of time thinking about that and learning little tricks for when you have the yips. Mm. And I fixed a couple of people that had it. It's not easy. Fifteen love. Let's for service. It's just a little bit of you know, unforced errors from Djokovic that you're not accustomed to seeing. That was just a rally ball for him. No pressure on him. To, he wasn't trying to hit it big. Oh. That too, huh? Mm -hmm. I mean, that one you can make Gary he was trying yeah. to do something with it. He was trying to hit it down line, but it's still completely an unforced error that you're not expecting from him. Games better. Two games over. Third set. Wait, please. Take a seat quickly, please. Thank you, sir. Ah. Fifteen love. Have you ever, Jim, seen any player? Try to return every single point and play every return point as hard as Rafa Nadal. Like you never feel like he's uh, well. No. Forty love. I'm gonna. No, no. Oh. It's one of the things that a couple of players told me the hardest thing about playing Nadal is you have to win all four points of every game to win a game. It doesn't matter. Forty love. Some players just yeah. Will play a loose go for too much. Exactly because they just want to save themselves and be relaxed when they serve next. Nadal never gave you that break, did he? No. 15 no. I kind of feel like with almost everybody else I watch, there's that recognition somewhere through their return games that they're not going to break. Might as well go for a big return, like a high-risk stuff. Djokovic is having a little bit of a meltdown here, folks. Yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, he's made a host of unforced errors. That drop shot was a panic drop shot from a position in the court, and Zverev not out of position. No reason to even try it. It looked like the first set against Jensen Brooksby when he lost 6-1.
don't have the numbers as far as when he served and volleyed, what percentage won. 15, but I don't 14. Him losing any to yeah. this one. That was a brilliant pass. Still doesn't Thursday, just serve and volley almost saying, I'm not feeling the ground strokes. No, I'm not trusting my game, my ground game. Here's Barrow here, you gotta expect it again. Seem more aggressive with this return if you can. Such an underrated serve. Use. And underrated by me as well. <laughs> so I yeah, can't until watching it live right at courtside. Djokovic. It's a dead ball, Djokovic says. We'll take it out of play. So far has been pretty similar Advantage to the first set. Djokovic. Djokovic can't yeah. win his second serve points. He's serving pretty well. He's getting first serves in. Eventually he was broken in that first set. He's doing a lot of ball bouncing. He is. That's usually a sign. It's another tip. Yeah. On his side. Get it off the line. James Djokovic. Zverev thinks it's way out, but it did skid right under his racket. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Take a seat behind the players quickly, please. Fifteen love. For about the first 15 minutes of this match, they were both playing near really the well. top of their level. Yeah. And since then, they've had 
gone back and forth with who's making the unforced errors, who's struggling. Right now it's Djokovic. Good news for him, when he struggles, he still kind of hangs in there. And he's on serve here. 40 love. And every number in this set as far as statistically so far favors Zverev. He's winning every second serve point. He's only lost two points on his serve. He's just had his 10th ease. Three games old, third set. Making errors to sort of squeeze out of these service games. So far, he's managing, but under pressure virtually every service game in this set. That's a bad decision. I know Swear presses his backhand, but right now Djokovic doesn't want to have long rallies. He's not. He's not. You got to test him. Mm -hmm. Just keep the rally going if you're Zverev. Turn 30, 15. But he got stuck being forced to come to net. That was a little what Roger Federer used to do to Andy Roddick. I had no choice but to come in from there. Pretty good first volley, just couldn't react to the pace of that second volley. Oh. Ah. 40, 15. Still, Jimmy, has this become the tennis body of the future? A guy this big? Yes. Not the Rod Laver type, not the Roger Federer type. Alexander Zverev type. I think so. Cece Pass is up there, Medvedev yeah. is up there. The, the guys who are challenging the most for the majors are built like this guy. New balls. Oh. Oh. Fifth, Love fifteen. 
of the match. 141 mile an hour first serve that missed, followed by 134 second serve that missed. <laughs> But some of the returns, Djokovic is missing because that one he actually guessed right. He was waiting on it. And it still got away from him. Yeah, it was 135 miles an hour, but just don't expect this guy, if he's read it, to miss a return. Oh! Didn't think that forehand approach that Zverev hit had any chance of dropping, but it dropped so quickly at the end. Djokovic angry at himself here for whatever reason. And then the lob I thought was pretty good. Zverev, it's nice to be 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> Zverev knows that's the sign. So here's the chance. Maybe that's why Djokovic was yelling at himself because he knows he missed that one return a couple points ago. Forty thirty. Djokovic had read that one too. He read that one Third as time. well. That's three forehand returns. He was waiting on it. The pace got him. This set feels a little bit like the first. Mm. This is where Djokovic was broken the first. Oh! It's good to be accurate as well. Great drop shots. <laughs> Look how care. tight he was yeah. to the net, Jimmy. Yeah, was... Don't care how tall you are, he wasn't going to get to that one. No. And he didn't get it up too high, so that Zverev could have chased it down. It's a perfect lob. 15 on. Just a little off balance on that forehand. Snatched at it. Djokovic. Jimmy, when Goran Ivanovic was added to Djokovic's team a couple of years ago, he's not here physically, but he is part of his squad now. Not landing on the line. He, he saw how many analytics Djokovic read, how many stats, how many patterns, fact patterns he knew about every player. And at a certain point, <laughs> Novak 
Well, Goran couldn't take it any. <laughs> Didn't know that. Look, this is all well and good, but you know that freaking so jump. Thing. Thing. Just go out there and beat these guys. <laughs> Remember who you are. That's great. Isn't that cool? That's Goron for you. You need a guy like that on your team, right? Well, you don't want to overanalyze. Exactly. That's... Goron's are like, you're the man. That's a good story. Throw the pressure right back on Alexander's there. Well, this disadvantages as well. There's not, because of how well he moves, there's no obvious disadvantage to his height at 6 6. Just the advantages. Oh! So when this point is over, I want you to tell me how well Riley Opelka will be able to move at seven feet. The forehands for both of them that are self-destructing at times. Riley right, Opelka, the young American from Delray Beach, the 22nd seed here who lost to the South African Lloyd Harris. According, to his, according to his coach, he can beat everyone on the tour in a 100-meter dash. Wow. wow. That's <laughs> it's only three steps. Okay. <laughs> That's right. But he actually does, in a straight line, run very fast. He's that very athletic. Yeah. Oh. because he realized, ooh. That one I understand because that's actually within the margin of error. There is a couple millimeter margin of error. 32 Love shot rally. 30. He's still accustomed to when there were linesmen. He's about to lose it and then at some point he... <laughs> His mind realizes, wait a minute, I have no way of winning this <laughs> argument. Well, 30 chances here for Djokovic.
of a sudden in this game, Djokovic has gone into I'm not going to miss mode, and he only missed that last shot because it did skitter. 15, 14. He's skitter. He's hitting slice backhands. He's keeping the ball low. Yep. Zverev isn't able to do anything with those. And he's making returns off pretty good first serves, which he has not done. So still a couple of set points. Zverev's got his work cut out to get out of this game. Two long rallies in this one game. Oh! He's going to go for the 130 second serve here. They should give him an extra 25 seconds yeah, shot really. clock for this one. Both of them. Yeah. Instead, it is still a set point for Djokovic. Oh, man. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. work in the crowd. Fifteen level. Fifteen on. Yeah. 
Come here, please. I think he's got a, like a bug in his eye or something. No, no, I don't. I have a bug or something that flew in. And where's contact? So he That's might need a little gun. liquid to flush that out. Should have used the old bug in my eye after the 53 shot out. Just to <laughs> the old bug in my get, eye. <laughs> get his legs back. Wait a minute. That's the old bug in my eye scam? <laughs> yeah. Well, I just thought of it after seeing what that play. Thirty fifteen. Hotel. Forty thirty. First game, fourth set. Strange, this is only two hours and ten minutes, but it feels physical yes. because of that that last game. It's tough to play. They had a third, late 20 shot. Every rally in that game was extended. Zverev was having to get down low because of the slices that Djokovic was employing. Let's see if he continues with that tactic. Love 15. All of a sudden, Zverev's serve isn't causing quite the same problem as it was causing Djokovic throughout most of this match. Fifteen all. Here's the old announcer James for you. <laughs> Djokovic right now feeling it a little. That fist pump telling you right now it's the time to try to really wrestle control. Oh!
impressive stuff from both. That was a humongous second serve, a great return, good approach, good pass, good volley, everything in that exchange other than maybe that defensive lob attempt. Djokovic is standing for the back now. So beautifully. One game all, fourth set. In the open water, and Djokovic just barking at his box right now. You're right, Jimmy. I think he was looking to break open the set nope. right there. No question. And he played two great points. Yeah. It's just fair of one shot better in each of them. Please, ladies and gentlemen, the players are ready. Thank you. Fifteen love. as if each shot is the best shot you can hit from that spot Correct. that you're being put in each time. Wow, that's a Maybe that last it. volley could have yeah. done better, but and that's what cost him the point. But it's an amazing grouping of points that we've seen here with the shot making involved. Fifteen. Yeah, was thinking. Again, he was my hero, but he's thinking. Kind of glad I played in 1969, <laughs> probably when he's watching this. Maybe I should have had a two-headed backhand. <laughs> well, he kind of had the first topspin. Yes, he did. game if somehow Zverev breaks because he's taken some body blows in the last 
10 minutes or so, Zverev has. It's taken almost the best stuff that Djokovic can throw at him. And he managed to hold serve in the last game. If he could steal a break here, the level they're playing, that would create some doubt for Djokovic. when I'm watching these rallies is that Djokovic 40, will throw 30. quite a bit of variety whereas Zverev hits almost the same ball over and over again. It's a good ball Zverev's hitting. It's yes. got depth. It's got pace. But Djokovic will give you a little bit slower one, maybe a slice, then harder one. Just trying to keep you a little off balance. Shots deep and hard. Use. I don't care how much variety is coming at you, it's pretty tough to, to deal with. So that's what Djokovic is dealing with. Such a pivotal early stage of this fourth set where these guys are both giving their best. How good Djokovic, Djokovic is when he hits shots like this. Yes. Like, wait a minute. Well, I was not... playing a good point Exactly. There. I was hitting it hard and deep. This wasn't even a bad slice. What do you mean you cooked up that shot? With long arms, is tough to deal with. And Djokovic's only weakness, which is hard to say, you don't hit that shot very often, and it's not a horrible weakness, is overhead. He didn't do enough with his first chance at that point. Here's the first chance for a break point in set four. That's some good 
serve, man. So clutch on great points with that first serve. Yes. And Zverev complaining about it, which is not <laughs> what you want to be thinking about it. That, that you, that Novak won't miss a first serve when I have break point. It's not up to, you got to do something with that first serve. Advantage, Zverev. asking for second serve. Let's see if Zverev can take advantage. Interesting to me that after those very physical first last three or four games that have been played, Zverev almost making a statement. He got up before the umpire called time. Mm. Was already waiting. He's almost saying, "Listen, old man." Sit quickly, please. Thank you. You 34-year-old. <laughs> I'm still fresh. He is a decade younger than Djokovic. Thank He's you, sir. that people are wandering around at the beginning. Well, it is right behind That's for the back. Not hurrying. <laughs> He's getting booed at here. Oh. Love my people. Just the relentless depth, pace, and no errors. He's made two unforced errors in this set. Djokovic had six. Oh! I don't say this much, but right now it feels like it's Djokovic who shouldn't get too far behind in these rallies. I do like Djokovic backing up for the return, especially in the ad court, because if he does get the tee serve, he should be able to handle the pace from back. James Vesey hold for Alexander Zverev. Zverev leads by three games to one, fourth set. The 
usopen.org has all the answers to all of your US Open questions. Except he's going to win this match. Uh, 15 up. Fifteen old. Djokovic has such a great ability to provoke errors from his opponents. But Zara is standing up to him. Twice as many misses off the forehand side. He sneaks in. Feels to me Djokovic at the moment. Down a break here in the 13, fourth. 15. The way he's played these three points, he's he doesn't want a 50-shot rally in the huh? next few minutes. He's shortening the points for right now. Hit that forehand a little bigger than he missed. He's come in twice. 40, 15. Forty thirty. Game on. Djokovic. Silk is there working behind the break. It's very valuable to buy three games to two, fourth side. Interesting stat that it was 98. 98 in total points because Djokovic has actually served one more game than Zverev. Mm. So Zverev, back, he's down two sets to one, but he's been at least as good in, in a lot of respects. Oh. But that's the one thing that can old. stop him. Sixth. Double fall first of this set. So a delayed thirty fifteen approach. He got this overhead, and he hasn't made any mistake with the overhead. On the forehand miss, Jimmy. <laughs> exactly. 30 old. Oh, Pospisil, he's been here warming up Novak. Yeah, become very good friends trying to start a professional tennis players association. Got hundreds behind them now. Four to thirteen. 
Marius. Second silver is 134 miles an hour. Again, that is when he's nervous. Hard yeah. he does that. He's missed the four Is that what you used to do off. when you were nervous? Yeah, I, I, I like to get it to about <laughs> only 132 <laughs> oh, okay. or so. 134 yeah, is a little. It's out. a natural impulse, isn't yeah. it? Interesting where the game has gone. My father was someone that wanted you to take the ball on the rise. He said when he watched tennis players stay, stay the same distance apart. So if you move forward, your opponent will move back. Okay. I want you to be that guy forward, cutting off the angles. Of course, I didn't really play that way because I but that's what he wanted. Yeah. When you watch his match, it's Djokovic does play closer. But even from way back, there can cover everything yeah. and get it big enough that he can get it past Djokovic from way back there. So Djokovic might be controlling in, in a sense, but it still makes it so tough for him to hit it through. Yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the point of every single sport. Put the other team, the other guy, in a state of emergency. And you do that, you rob him of time, right? Oh! You get the clarity out of their thinking. You put them in a state of emergency. It's hard to put Zverev in a state of emergency. And I hope he does stuff like that. He just slipped, actually. That was almost hyperextended. Yeah, I guess the ankle. That was a strange looking move as he planted that foot to hit his backhand. Is again, Jim. Well, it's just a little slip, but thirty love. Forty love. Wow. Beautiful job. James from Djokovic. Just working the outside of the plate. I love home. So infuriating, up. really, when you're when you miss a lob wide because yes. there's no reason to flirt with the sideline. It's all about getting the height and length. Thirty love. First piece of this set, twelve and all. So 
Naughty Love. Sparrow's average first serve speed is faster than Djokovic's fastest serve. Yeah, he's biggest he's hit tonight is 124. Game is better. from Alexander Zola. Zverev leads by five games of three, four set. I think said that the numbers aren't that different when they get first serve in. Djokovic at 70, he's winning 77% of those points. Smear better at 82, but it's... Oh. First serve of Djokovic has been pretty effective. He's gotten him a lot of free points. He saved a lot of break points because of that first serve. Ever since getting down a break in this second set, Djokovic hasn't been broken again, but he's not playing. He doesn't want to play a long rally right now. Two service games that he's 15, held since being 13. broken by serve and winner. But this game he's missed a couple when he's trying to finish it. Zero, two points from the set. A couple of swings away from the fifth set. Advantage. Continuing to hit Djokovic. his spots with that first serve pretty well. The one serve that impresses me with Djokovic because he's not that tall as he hits his flat out wide in the ad court serve really well and reasonably consistently, which I can understand why 6'6 six, six can do it. 6'2. Oh. That one. Mm. Should miss it a few more times than he does. Game 
Djokovic. Zverev with a chance to serve out this set. Zverev leads by five games to four, fourth set. Fifteen, love. Let for service. Djokovic came back with a, that was the second set point that he saved, couldn't save the third. Last forehand skidded off the line, that was the first point in a while where Djokovic was willing to get into a long, drawn-out rally. Oh. I just get the sense that Djokovic doesn't want to visit that territory again. I think he'll visit it again, just not till the fifth set. Okay, <laughs> so we're going five. <laughs> Unless the vultures that you talked about 30, earlier 15. are always circling. This pair of will land on his shoulder all of a sudden. That was a double fault that missed by quite a distance. He's probably going T now. Normally when he gets tight, he goes T. Set points. Fourteen, fifteen. But recognized it, got up to it, and Djokovic left a little early. Made this a lot easier. The first set and the fourth set. By six games to four. This is going the distance. Two sets all. Say it quickly, please. Thank you. Final set. Djokovic to serve. One more thing at this point. You should keep in mind. Sanchez Vera has never beaten a top 10 player at a major. That's a big stat. That's an unbelievable stat. Yeah. And it has the advantage of being true. And the point Love with serve plus one did happen in that point. He stayed in the rally, but he got a little tired of the rally on the 12th shot. He wasn't really in position to try to go for that forehand.
15 all. Thirty fifteen. Every set, Zverev's one single digit on forced errors. First game, two already. Hold, hold to start the fifth yeah, set. Of it. First game, final set. When he hits 133, 134 mile an hour second serve, that's his form of, I'm nervous. It looks bold, but he's actually nervous. Big chance here for Djokovic to get out to an early break in the fifth. Oh. Now what do you do if you're fair? Do you try to crack another one or do you? Bend it in. Bend it in at 60 miles an hour and hope. Bent. We got away with it. Yeah, he juiced it up from 60 to 78. But it, it looked closer to 60 to me when you saw it. This match three hours old. It just since this first serve is pretty monumental. 30 all. And Feeling the heat. Please. 
rhythm was off. He did a good job not swinging at it. Two games to love. But you know what? You Final can't. set. Zverev sent the signal that I'm nervous. Yep. And if you do that to a great player who's accustomed to winning, he's going to take advantage. He's going to punish you. Djokovic did just that. But Jimmy, is Novak Djokovic that self-contained and that self-assured to know that he's got that mental and emotional advantage in this final set? I don't think he had it until he saw Sparrow. I see. Get a little tight, and then he. Sasha tipped him off. Yes. Huh? Please. Is that what happened in the semis that he played against Nadal at the French Open this year, or was that just will? And physical strength. I got one. I think with Rafa, so you can't really think of Rafa as fair. You know, everybody I know the, the signs. And we've mentioned it different times today because he's shown you the double faults in the forehand. And you know Djokovic knows the signs. has happened all that he was fearing. He's down a break. He'll probably play reasonably loose now, and when Zverev is loose, it's not easy to hold against him. Djokovic has to hold four more times. So this match can take it, a hairpin turn. It can. Zerf needs to do a little better with that 87 mile an hour second serve. It was right in his wheelhouse, about chest high to the backhand. Take a little bit more risk on that return against Djokovic. That's the serve. 14, he hits it really well. It's short in the box, flat. Djokovic takes a three-love lead in this final set. And it's why I was interested with Leila Fernandez 
when she said, after beating Osaka, yeah, I, I knew, I knew I was going to win, or I knew I could win. She was asked, yeah, when do you, when did you know? When I walked on the court. Yeah. For a match. Yeah. Thirty love. They're serving at 50% in this set. surprised Zverev didn't see it at all. just far back, but he's far back and haven't hit one-handed slices, and that's not going to be enough. There's just a little extra juice on Djokovic's mouth strokes in the last few minutes. Chance for four love. Let for service. Let for service. Most of this match, there's been so Final little sense. between these two, and now it's four love in the fifth. Lewishopen.org can explain what's happening to it <laughs> after the match. Just click on to it. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please stop moving over there. Thank you. Take your time. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about you. Back to the yacht club. First time. Why was that a lot? I guess neither player heard it, but the device called it. Just 
refresh my memory. How did we get to four love in a fifteen minutes? love? We got to four love by a very nervous Verev to start the fifth. And then once Djokovic it gave him the belief. He and, smelled and it. He, and that's it. Zverev played a pretty good game, still lost serve the next time. Did miss that overhead, huh? Oh! Djokovic's shots are just a little bit bigger, a little bit sharper, and it's just enough to cause some issues for Zverev. Dejected look on Dad's face. Four to love. New boss plays. <laughs> so it's your negative talk that is keeping. It's not him helping. From it's not helping. If he listens, <laughs> no question. And hopefully he never gets a tape of this match and listens to it. <laughs> 15th ace. You can still throw down the aces. Say, Jimmy, who knows better than he? 15 no. Yeah. Why, why he's going to walk off this court having not won this match, having not stopped the grand slam of Novak Djokovic. Let for service. Oh. Oh. Came up with a game from the three-point range. Djokovic leads Djokovic by five games to one. Final set. For the final. Just one of the 
Love, Most 15. Most executed drop shots we've seen from Djokovic. Too much air. The pressure of having this Love, so close. 30. He's got the two break lead, but a couple of good returns. A little loose drop shot, forehand error. Just a little opening here for Zverev. Fifteen thirty. Reaches his fastest speed again, 125. The look on his face after he hit this shot was, why well, couldn't I do this? 15, 14. Just a little sort of look in his eye. I recognize this. I've got all the physical tools I got. I have everything. I just got to figure out how to do it in the biggest moments. Say 14. For the match, there are two of eight on break chances. Djokovic, five of eight. Winning the big points. Let for service.
Advantage, Zverev. That's called great. Yeah. Two points away again. Ah. This could get somewhat interesting if. Uh, advantage, it's better. Fourth Second service. Physical, even though it's only just under three and a half hours, they've had some tough advantage. Is better points. Serve. Djokovic leads by five games to two. Final set. Love 15. 
even when he does hit the drop shots, Barrett's able to track it down. This is the only time I've seen him work changing direction. Took a little bit of time for the six foot six inch. Zverev still got a racket on it. Five miles an hour, second serve. But some great forehands get him out of trouble. Yeah, this could this could get interesting if Zverev mm -hmm. can find a way to hold serve here because he does. He's so he does make a lot of returns. Five love, Djokovic was. Pretty sure, along with the people who left, trying to beat the crowd, pretty sure he was going to be done with this match. And all of a sudden, Zverev making it interesting. Thirteen. down the line, kept control. Over five interesting sets, he's got a match point. Sets away from doing something that Rod Laver did back in 69. One match away. A terrific fight here. They're certainly sharing some nice words for the champ. <laughs> How do you do this all year long? I mean, how do you do this all year long? For this many years. For this many years. And now this one match away. Got a little bit more of what he wants from the crowd as well throughout this match. 